Mr. Geek believes he's found a way to save the NHS thousands of pounds. Mark Frame has developed a way to make cheap anatomical models. Our health correspondent Eleanor Bradford reports. But by having it in our hands rather than just on the computer, mm -hmm. we can just turn it around and have a look in any direction that we want. Mm -hmm. Young surgeon Mark Frame showed 79-year-old Myra Hare a model of her damaged hip. Because imagine you've held your own pelvis before. <laughs> Models like this one are used to help plan out complex surgery. Often what it's said is once you've used a physical model, when you get into the operation, it's like you've already been there before. Usually these models cost hundreds, if not thousands of pounds. But Mark knew that new technology could be used to make models for much less. He said measurements from CT scans to a company using a new technique called 3D printing. A week later, by post, he got... A small box about this size, full, full of polystyrene peanuts that we opened, and there was sitting pretty much a full representation of this patient's forearm, and that's that's the the model, not the real bone that was taken out of a child. That's the actual model, which was quite amazing to us. The cost, just 77 quid. I was very impressed with the model. Um, the, the level of detail uh, was excellent, and the, the thing that surprised me most was how well it correlated to the deformity and the defects that we encountered intraoperatively. Uh, it was very, very similar to the model, and that gives a very good idea of what we were hoping to do during the revision surgery. The models are so cheap that surgeons here at Cross House Hospital are using them more often, making surgery safer and more successful. And if you want to make your own 3D bones, Mark's written a quick guide on how to do it. It's been considered for publication by a medical journal, so you can look it up on Twitter at 3 dbones Helena Bradford, Reporting Scotland, Cross House Hospital.